Give me a dead three and then a finger. Hey, y'all. I'm Catherine. I'm so glad to welcome you to our training called The Linus Within. And we're going to be discussing a new series called The Linus Within. And we're going to be learning about the awakening of the Linus Within, which is the spirit of the Lion of Judah which we will be learning about, which is one of the armor of God found in Ephesians 6, 17, which is the sword of the spirit. It is one of the uh, pieces of the armor of God, along with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, shod with the feet, uh, shod your feet with peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation and praying always but we're going to pull out one piece of the armor which is the sword of the spirit the word of god specifically because we're going to whip up on the devil and take care of some business because we're going to uh, train the women specifically how to whip up on the devil and take care of some business on how we're going to uh, protect and uh, uh, protect and uh, push back the enemy against the attack that's coming against our children, against our husbands, against the men uh, uh, in our family and the other family members that we have. Because, you know, in these days, Right now, it's uh, March 21 of 23, and have you ever seen crazier days than what we're in right now? And I'm just going to ask you, are you tired of it? Because personally, I'm tired of it. I raised nine children, and I'm tired of it, and I got grandbabies. I know. I do. I have grandbabies. I'm tired of it. And there is a solution. And the solution is this. You got to recognize your armor. Okay. There is a solution. You have to recognize your armor in the spirit. Okay. If you recognize your armor in the flesh, which is, you know, a six shooter or a bazooka, you're going to end up in prison and you're going to be in trouble. It's not going to be good. Or you shoot off your mouth, you're going to get a bad reputation. You're going to look really ugly. You're going to feel good maybe for a few minutes, but you're going to look really ugly and you don't want to do that. But there's a solution in the Word of God, and we're going to talk about that, okay? All right, so in the Word, Ephesians 6, 7, go ahead, pull out your Word on your cell phone. You could pull up your app or you could pull up your paper bible any bible will do uh, on your cell phone you could pull up uh, bible gateway which has about 35 translations of the word uh, you could pull up uh, tell me another one carl olive tree. olive tree that's a wonderful one on a on a different cell phone you verse Okay, and that's another one. That's my trusty IT man, Carl, my happy husband, which I pro protect with the word. And uh, so pull up your word and follow along Ephesians 6. S Ephesians 6, starting with verse 11, talks about the, the uh, armor of God. And so we're going we're gonna to discuss that. Specifically, we're going to talk about verse 17, the sword of the spirit. Not the sword of your tongue, the sword of... Okay, not the sword of your tongue in the flesh that gets you in trouble all the time. I know none of y'all are guilty. Not me. <laughs> Just the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Don't ask my husband. He'll, he'll plead me innocent. <laughs> but anyway, the word of God. That'll keep you innocent. Okay, so this is the deal. When we pull out the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, which is part of the armor of God, we dress ourselves as a soldier. Okay. 
Why are we soldiers? Because the Bible says we are. We put on all this armor of God because we are soldiers in the army of the Lord. Okay, why put on all this armor and pre prepare ourselves for battle if then we don't know how to use the equipment? Okay, how many times in church do we hear about all of the armor of God but then very little is talked about how to use the equipment. And you talk, you hear about all of our men in the family going off to uh, basic training. And they spend weeks and weeks getting trained on how to use their uh, equipment. And then they get sent off to uh, extended training and, and years on the battlefield. And they use their equipment. Okay. And uh, and uh, that's that's really difficult, okay. But how 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 do we use the Word of God, okay? We're going to get in depth into that, okay. That's really important. So we want to know uh, number one, why do we put on the armor of God? How how do we use it, okay? All right. So there you go. So. What are you going to do with the gear that you put on? Are you going to actually go to war with the equipment that you put on? Are you going to go to war or are you going to hide? All right. We could hide. We could watch soap operas all day long. Okay. We could pretend that our children in kindergarten or in college are not being attacked by the woke agenda. We could, or we could go to battle for them with the Word of God, okay? And we're going to be handling that, okay? It's not that hard to do. We could do it individually at home. We could do that together with our friends, with our Bible study, and with our uh, groups, and we're going to get into that, okay? We can war, or we can hide. So we'll get into that. And then... We're going to look for results, okay? When we do a chore, when we do a project around the house, or we do a project at work, we have to look for results, right? Either we look for results, or it's just useless, all right? So, we're either looking for, to win, or we're looking that we're going to lose one way or the other. And it's up to us. Are we going to win or are we going to lose? And you'd be surprised. It really is up to us if we're going to win or lose. And it, we're going to learn that we have authority in Christ. God gave us authority. Jesus gave the apostles authority. He said, I give you authority over serpents and demons to go and cast out the demons, I give you authority to heal the sick and raise the dead. I give you authority. We're going to be getting into that too. So, we, we have more authority than you think. And we're going to learn about that. Okay? So, it's up to us what the outcome is. We're going to learn about that. So, connect your seatbelts. We're going to figure this out together. Because there is a win in front of you and it's just around the corner because in Joshua 1.9, God told Joshua, be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Do you know that in the Bible, fear not is listed 365 times? And even though God was talking to Joshua and Joshua did not have a uterus, that that same word is spoken to women. And I'm speaking to you women. Wake up. Wake up the spirit of God within you. Wake up women of God. Wake up the spirit of God. The, the, uh, the lioness within you. Wake up. I'm calling you prophetically. Wake up lioness within you. Wake up. 
Wake up the word of God within you. Wake up the sword of the spirit within you. Put on the belt of truth. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Shod your feet with the peace. Put on the shield of faith. Pick up the, put on the helmet of salvation. Praying always. Pray always. You'd be surprised how much you're already praying and you don't even recognize it, calling it prayer. Just keep your mind on God. Meditate on His Word. Keep your mind upon the Lord. Keep your mind upon the Lord. Be careful what your eye gate is seeing. Be careful what your ear gate is hearing. Keep your mind stayed upon Him. Be careful who you're hanging around. When you hear a negative word, cut it off. Let us close a prayer. Okay, guys? All right. Father, your word is about every word. Father God, you say you honor your word above uh, every other thing. You, you honor the name of Jesus above every other name. And we come to you in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord, that what you have started on this earth, you will accomplish. And that uh, your blessing is upon your word. We thank you, Lord, for uh, your anointing on the word that has gone forth today. We thank you, Lord God, that you are waking up the spirit of the lioness within these women, Father God, that courage is being spurred and uh, stirred within the hearts of women, that they will stand as warriors, as soldiers, and they will uh, pick up the sword of the Spirit, and they will war for their children, their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren, their husbands, their ex-husbands, their uh, grandpas, their uh, grandmas, their extended families father god for their pastors father god they will war in the spirit like they have never warred before lord give them a spirit of hope like they have never had before father god lord that they will know their position they will know their position in the army of christ father god like never before because time is drawing close time is drawing close father god we thank you lord for this time that we get a chance, we get a chance, Father God, to be in this hour, in this hour, Father God, in 2003. We, we thank you for it. We bless your name for it. And we just, uh, we, we just uh, praise you, Lord, for what you're doing today. And we bless your mighty holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was it, Carl. Did you not get it? <laughs>